friends. Today we are going to make delicious oil-free crispy french fries by the very talented Shelly Hughes. So we are going to focus on russet potatoes, but you can also use the red new potatoes if you'd like. So potatoes are actually a superfood. They are very good for you. I know sometimes they get a bad rap, but they are actually very high in potassium. More potassium than a banana, and they're high in vitamin C and they have very trace amounts of fat and no cholesterol and very low calories. This is about 150 calories. So when you don't have any oil, this is really all you're eating, 150 calories. Okay, so we're gonna cut them into French fry shapes. And so I already peeled this potato and we're gonna cut it in half. And you can do this any way that you want. And then cut it again. And then I just do it vertically. And sometimes you'll need to even once it's on its side, cut it again. And it just depends on the size of your potato. And you could also cut them in half if you prefer them shorter. Okay. There's a great article on the Forks Over Knives website that talks about a guy who only ate potatoes for 60 days, which I don't recommend, but it was interesting that he lost 21 pounds and lowered his cholesterol by 67 points. So I thought that was very interesting. And you can just cut them in slices, and then again, slice it in half. Okay, and the last one. And I'm using about four potatoes, which will be about four servings. So we can have them for a couple days. Okay, so then we're actually going to take them and we're going to boil them for seven minutes. And this will help them absorb the spices better, the excuse me, seasonings. And then it'll also help them be more crispy in the oven. And it really works and they're so delicious. So I'm going to put these in the water on the stove. I'm going to bring it back to a boil again for seven minutes. Be sure you don't overcook them, okay? Which I have done, and then you'll have mashed potatoes, okay? So bring it to a boil, just seven minutes. Keep an eye on it, stay in the same room with it. All right, so I already boiled these just to save some time, and this is what they look like when they're done, and this is about three to four, yeah, potatoes. All right, I'm gonna put them in a large pan to add our spices. This is so easy, we're actually just steps away from being done. So once you cut them, boil them for seven minutes so they're still intact, they're not falling apart. Okay, and then we're gonna add our four to five seasonings depending on what your preference is. So we start with some garlic powder and everything is one half teaspoon garlic powder, one half teaspoon onion powder, and of course you could add more if you prefer and a half a teaspoon of sea salt and a half a teaspoon. I use sweet paprika. I like that better. If you like smoke butter, that's up to you. And then a fourth a teaspoon pepper if you like pepper. So I'm just going to do a little less pepper than the other spices. And you want to gently toss them, especially if you did overcook them a bit because they can fall apart on you. <laughs> All right. And so no oil, so it's going to be way less calories and no fat. And they're actually, I like them better. I'm surprised because I'm not an oil-free vegan, but I really, really love the flavor. You know what? I'm a big paprika fan, so I'm going to add a little bit more. Toss them real good. Okay, so again, garlic powder, onion powder, sweet paprika, sea salt, and a little pepper. Then we're gonna put them on a baking sheet. You can use parchment paper. This is that silicone mat that's getting, it's getting a workout at our house. We're using it all the time now. I just got that at Bed Bath & Beyond, and I love it. I've been using it for so many things, cookies, vegetables. Okay, just gonna spread them out. And then we're gonna bake them 
at 420 for 20 to 25 minutes. So keep an eye on for you when you get them and see how crispy you like them. Okay, in the magic of live video, <laughs> this is what they will look like in 25 minutes. These are the delicious oil-free crispy french fries. And again, you can use new potatoes, roasted potatoes. Shelly also has a fabulous cashew sour cream recipe in the same recipe link that I'm going to post. So be sure and try that as well. They're actually great by themselves. If, you, if you're not a sour cream person, I love ketchup. So you can use ketchup. My husband loves hot sauce. So whatever your favorite topping is, I hope you will try them. As always, thanks for joining me and saving animals with your food choices. Have a great week and keep cooking.